Well, this match is hopping and bopping. Hopping and a bopping. And singing his song. They're singing too. Jenks come back like a train. Two dots in exactly the same place in the double top. Has to keep it going though for six to eight more legs. Well, yes. that one's halfway to Harrow on the hill. <laughs> and uh, even uh, even Dennis Smith uh, wasn't uh, aware of what happened there. Of course, Smithy does sweat up a bit, uh, Sid, doesn't he? And I'm just wondering if it's uh, just some perspiration. He would not be that far off the target normally. Oh, a bit of smoothness. Something in me, Jordy Water tells me that the muck or nettles, Yorkshire Frears for the Pisa Lay, the last go, has brought smoothness to the technique of the bull. I think he's decided to just go for it, relax. This the man, the 107 against Barney, and then 107 against Barney, the Premier Dart League. He's back in the groove. Slightly off balance with that shot, though. Yes, he needed more than that because uh, a ton 40 or a ton 80 here from Smith will put him in command against the throw here in the uh, fourth leg, the fourth set, rather. Game could turn on Fulcrum here. Jenks will want to get this one over quickly. Plenty of 60s needed. Risky dart this with the flight being where it was. Birth school, dart's death. That's a sort of national curriculum, me and you, have day. <laughs> Gosh, psychi Give or take. <laughs> psychiatric darts fans with their placards. My word, where will it all end? Here we go then. Wow. Vital leg, vital leg. Whoa, the shot's on. 16. Oh, yeah. Double 19 to be really back in with a bad oh, lucky. Oh, that, that, that would have been a real sizzler, wouldn't it? Now, Smith on 84. It's an important leg, this one. Two clean shots at double 12 to win the leg against the throw. Now, sixes. This is a big dart. It goes in. Great dart. Keeps the pressure. On Jenks, he can see the Debrule mop. And uh, just when Terry Jenkins must have thought he was over Beatrice Brook, he has run into the canal turn and uh, he lost that leg against the throw. And there was a, a deliberate inevitability about the way Dennis Smith hit the winning double. He's a cool customer. He was going like National Velvet, you're right. Oh, he's keeping up. Great that he didn't let that crucial double stop his momentum. What a match we get on here now. Four seeds out yesterday. Yes, and no question, Jenkins is battling for his life now. Just two legs away from another first round departure in the World Championship. And uh, that would mean it would not be a very happy Christmas in Herefordshire. Oh, this is magic. For the last one, maybe should have come for cover there. Big shot here, puts more pressure. This is a tricky line, has to go through the flight. Cover, I think, no? That was always going to be the problem, the understack. Well, it, it was a brave third dart, you know, Sid, because the first two had masked most of the treble 20 target. And Jenkins again seems curiously off balance. It starts was 10 years ago. First started commentating. Producer said, want you to be nice and tense, just relax. Paradox. Jenkins is trying to relax under pressure. So you get six great guards and then three blobs. This would be a big finish. Out of range now. Smith can't finish on 181, so. Jenkins Ready. will, yes, tidies up, left himself double eight. He knows he has a very, very fair chance now of levelling up the fourth set. He's still in this match.
but it's now biting. Is it ever? Jenkins, a number five seed. Taylor one, Barneyville two, way three, part exited four. Jenks five, double it. Blocks the bed, got to go the top side, got to go north. Still got to go north. Once again, the doubling is troubling and the trouble is bubbling if Jenkins loses this leg and Dennis Smith has got now two darts at double 16 to go just one leg away from a surprise victory he's done it and Jenkins now is rattling on the ropes Dave Lanning student of literature particularly McGonagall bubbling and a doubling and this man is troubling another seed about to go out of this amazing world championship maybe <laughs> we'll be joining you soon, kid. I mean, do they come here dressed like that, Sid, or do they go to the loo and get changed? Can you imagine you're going home from Alexandra Palace and you, you bump into Superman at Woodgreen? It must be like that moment in Only Fools and Horses. Either that or he sells phone boxes. <laughs> oh, again. Again, the panic button. You've got another seed on the ropes. You don't need the big eel good to suss the drama here. Number five seed, Terry Jenkins, who was in the last year. Shown great form against the best, Taylor and Barney. Now fighting for his life in the crowd, loving it. Soldier commentary team. Trying to recover from the thought of to John Gilgood thinking about darts. <laughs> you, you, you need double top to play double. <laughs> well, Jenkins, that 180 was hit in desperation. Now, treble 17 for the ball. Ball! Oh. Oh. 16 to an inch out. The ball misses the ball. Sometimes don't need adjectives. The verbs write themselves. Loose dart. Got to get all the legs in the set, the number five seed, or else he's out. Two fours. It's a must get. Double four. Well, if Smith can hit this 164, it is a big, big order here. 164 leads Travel 20 with the first dart. So Stompy got it yesterday. Co Stompy. Tram driver. Lovely dart. Pressure on this. Two dart into the opponent. Oh my Louis. You can see the tension. You can see the panic on his face, the hope. Oh! A mile away! All three there! Well, that's six darts, seven darts at a double. And Dennis Smith now looking at 84, treble 20, the first target. 14 would leave the bull. Wants the bull to sink the bull. Red bit. That is quite sensational. Dennis Smith rounding off the bull to kill off the bull. And that's another seed who falls. And we are having quite an alley pally as Smith celebrates, the crowd celebrates. But oh, what a dismal Christmas for Terry Jenkins. <laughs>